Hello, hello, this is Mr. Chabry. We're back with some Pokemon Red 721. Um, this is our team at this moment. Um, and before I actually tackle the gym, I don't want to actually go all the way back to face our rival just because there's Latiases or Latios, I don't remember which one it was. Uh, but they were destroying us through the whole um, forest, uh, the Latios, and it destroyed a bunch of my team. So I'm actually going to go here. So that way I can train in this grass. And I do think um, the Kingdra that we saw, I think it was level 3. I think we should be fine, um, you know, grinding on Kingdras. Of course, this thing does have Cubones in it. Um, which is interesting. Uh, there's Pig Knight. Uh, but it's level 4. If it has a fighting type move, that could be bad. But uh, I'm going to just um, Aerial Ace it. That should do the job. Nice. All right, so I can just grind here easily. Trying to learn a supersonic. Terrible move. But yeah, I don't know if you guys want uh, me to grind on camera. Or I can do that off camera because I don't know. Since it is a Nuzlocke, you guys might want to see just in case something happens. Um, I feel like there was a Nuzlocke that I did grind off screen and I lost something so unfortunately when you guys came back it was already ugh, that Pokemon was already gone but <clears throat> but if I'm grinding in areas where I'm not too worried about losing a Pokemon I think that would be fine um, I do know it would be very advantageous to go all the way down uh, so that way I could train against the rival but the fact that there's Latioses in that Viridian Forest kind of makes me nervous, and I don't want to uh, get stuck fighting those things just because they're so scary. Um, I think Brock's final Pokemon, if it's sort of like how it is in um, Gen 1, I don't remember. Normally his Onyx is level 12 or 14. I don't remember which one off the top of my head. But I want to actually, and some of you guys might not like this, but I actually do want to over-level um, Absol a little bit because we saw Absol being the only thing that kept me alive against the Arcanine. If it wasn't for Absol, I would have been gone. Of course, we use that Max Revive on this thing, which actually is really the only reason we're still in this challenge. Because if I didn't do that, Arcanine would have just swept my whole team. So my thing is, I want to get some training done. Um, Ladyba is here. I actually want to get Zephyr some experience off this thing. I don't think uh, Ladyba's got much that it can really do. Yeah, Bullet Seed, that's nothing. Yeah, we resist that, so it's doing 1 HP each time. Uh, but we can actually Rock Blast, and that should one-shot or even take it two hits. To, oh, one will be enough. Okay. But yeah, I want to get Hades leveled up. Now, I don't know. Actually, Aerial Ace should do the job. I am nervous about Vile Plume, though. That would be good enough. Okay. Some good experience. We can grind so easily here. I was actually pretty nervous about Vileplume. Because, you know. But yeah, Vileplume's actually a really good Pokemon to go against. I wish I had a flying type move on Zephyr. Because then I would be easily leveling that thing up. But yeah, 157 experience points each time. We'll get. Listen, we'll get to level 20 on Hades. And the reason why I want to overlevel is because if you've watched my Pokemon Blue um, randomizer Nuzlocke that I tried to do, I literally defeated Brock and then went to the route, I think it's route 3, and got bodied. Of course, I got bodied by a Gengar. But hopefully, I just don't want to get bodied so early on in this challenge. 
And I actually have not seen a Kingdra. I know there's Kingdra here because this is a part of Route 2. This is a part of Kingdra Swamp. And I'm surprised we haven't seen Kingdra. Pretty sure Kingdra would give us a lot of experience. I don't know if it would give us more than Vileplume, but it might. I mean, Ladybug's not doing much for us. Um, I do feel safe enough to lead off with Zephyr and then have 80s come in to do some knockouts for a quick experience. Do I still feel safe in doing that? There's a Grand Bull in front of me. Okay, may, well, it's level... Th well, actually, it's level 3. What could it actually do at level 3? Fine, whip. Okay, um... The fact that it went for Vine Whip tells me it probably doesn't have anything it can do to me. That should be good experience, right? 67, we didn't level up. Alright. Gothita. We'll Rock Blast this thing. Yeah, this thing shouldn't have that much defense. And Fire Blast, okay. I don't think Fire Blast... Yeah, we don't need to worry about Fire Blast, really. <clears throat> nice, level 7. Can you learn a good move? I'm going to heal up, guys. Then I'll be right back. Uh, but yeah, the thing with um, my Pokemon that get knocked out, I, I don't want to release them because, of course, we have the Max Revive um, Claws. So that way, if we find a Max Revive, and of course, everything here is randomized, so, um, you know, me looking in a guide to see where they are normally is not going to help me. Um, it's down to, if, I if I'm if i lucky enough to find one. Actually, I do think there's an item in this, right? No, there's not. For some reason, I was thinking there was. I think there's an item hidden somewhere where I can find it in this town, right? I oh, know we've already faced Gothita, so easy knockouts. Um, I'm actually surprised we have not seen a Kingdra yet. That shows me that if we were lucky, we could have had something that we could have actually caught without, you know, being too stuck in a, uh, you know, well we're facing a final form. So yeah, we just got really unlucky when we came across the Kingdra. And this thing only has Vine Whip, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah. Unless the first Grand Bull was just, you know, setting us up. Only Vine Whip. Oh, Glare. Well, well, well. I knew about Confusion. Okay, Confusion, Glare. This thing would have actually been pretty useful. That thing could actually be pretty useful in my um, battle against Latios. I could have, could have paralyzed it. Ran away. I'm courageous. I run away from Latios's. Oh, that could have actually been pretty helpful. That could have been helpful for me to catch things. Like, if I came across a Kingdra, I could glare it and have a better chance. Why couldn't have I found that thing? But yeah, we've, we've got to level up our Pokemon. Bef you know, because we almost got... Snivy, what does Snivy want to do here? Level 2, so I'm fine. We should have caught this thing. This thing would have been cool to catch. We'll Rock Blast it. Yeah, I'm not too worried about Snivy. So low leveled. It's got Egg Bomb. But yeah, we should have. With. If we had Grand Bull, that would have been cool. That would have actually been really cool. Hmm. 
And I don't think Pig Knight really has much it can do. I'm actually surprised we're not finding much better options when it comes to, you know, things to knock out. All right, this thing obviously only has double edge because that's what mine only had. Hard and double edge, of course. Now we'll try to get Hades leveled up a little more. Because Hades, I feel like Hades in a lot of ways will be my win condition in a lot of situations. Just because it's so versatile. Oh, and I wonder if this game has the badge boost thing. That would actually be great. That actually makes me want to go ahead and face Brock. And maybe, you know, skip his trainer just because if I were able to get that badge boost um, glitch, of course, I don't want to go all the way back down. Well, I wouldn't be able to do the rival battle. And I wouldn't be able to do the battle after. Or the ba his, his uh, trainer in there. But... Yeah, I actually do want to battle the trainer in Peter City, though. But, yeah, usually what I do is I want to battle all the trainers. But in this situation, would it be more advantageous to, you know, strategically skip some and just grind in the wild? Because I could have skipped that Arcanine trainer and still had a full, like, a team of four Pokemon. If I had skipped that trainer, I would have had a team of four Pokemon. But now I've got only two So, maybe it is more advantageous to skip a few? Um, I'm actually thinking that would be a pretty decent idea. Because with this game, you, you don't know if you're going to come across something like a Mewtwo. And, the you know, some trainer has a Mewtwo. Kingdra, I've been looking for you. I'm going to punish you, Kingdra. Look at me. I am back. I am here. I am going to punish you for taking away my encounter for Route 2. Hmm. We get a lot of experience from that thing, but, but Valplume is a better experience um, source, so I would rather face a whole bunch of Vileplume. I don't think I even... S Have I seen what Vileplume carries? I don't remember. I don't think I've even... Yeah, I don't think I have. Or have I? Yeah, I don't think I have. Alright, Pig Knight. Oh, Pig Knights. There's so many Pig Knights. But yeah, I'll go ahead and knock this one out. And then we'll take on Brock. The reason why I want to go ahead and take on Brock is because I'm kind of hesitant on... Clearing out every trainer like I normally do. You know, I normally do because some of the trainers are kind of, you know, they got something that will come out there and just destroy your whole team like an Arcanine. And if I had skipped that trainer in Viridian Forest, I would still have four Pokemon. But yeah, we'll go ahead and take on Brock, and that will give us the Booge. Uh, the badge boost glitch, I guess? Unless it doesn't exist in this. And that might help me out. I'll skip the old man. Might have an Arcanine. Brock, you look a lot different. You look like a store clerk. I'm Brock. I'm Pewter City's gym leader. I believe in rock hard defense and determination. That's why my Pokemon are all the rock type. Let's see if that's true. 
Yeah, let's see if that's true. Let's see if you've got rock type. I don't think this guy has rock type. This gal has rock type. Sorry. I don't think... Gloom. Listen, I've been facing Vile Plume easily. Easily knocking out Vile Plume and getting a ton of nice experience from it. I'm not worried about Gloom at all. And Shelmet. Gloom and Shelmet. Interesting. You know, listen, I would go into Zephyr and, you know, let it get some experience. But this thing could have something that would totally surprise me. And that would not be good for me. If I had something like Ice Beam or something like that, you know? Um, yeah, level 15. Nice. Look at that attack stat. This thing is amazing. Took you for granted. A boulder badge. All right. Nice. And now flash can be used at any time. You are going to give me a TM, aren't you? What is it? What's the TM? TM34. He, she's going to say that it's bind. Or bide. It's bide that she gives you. But it's probably going, it's going to be something different. Yeah, it contains bide. I'm sure it does. Let's go look and make sure ourself. TM. Uh, hello? You lied to me. You didn't give me a TM. Hey. You didn't give me a TM. Does that normally happen? Alright, we'll just walk right past this person. No battle. But now, there's a lot of battles that we're going to have to go through. A whole bunch of trainers. Um, and I do want to buy some potions. Why? Because I have a feeling some of these trainers are going to be quite terrifying. We'll grab some potions. Grab five. And how many Pokeballs do I still have? Because I've got some encounters coming up. I've got three. I, I want to grab a few more. Yeah, that's fine. And we'll go ahead and heal up, and then we will continue on our journey. Um, yeah, we will continue on our journey. I don't know if I want to grind first or not. But let me, guys, listen. Let me know if you want these grinding sessions to happen on screen, kind of like they did today, or you, you're fine with them being off screen. I know if a Pokemon gets knocked out off screen, it's kind of like anticlimactic when, or disappointing, I guess you could say. When I pop in here, I'm like, guys, I lost this one. Um, but I feel like that could make the content flow a little better if it's not me just on screen the whole time grinding. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you like this. Thumbs up, subscribe. I'll see you in the next Pokemon video.